Bonjour. Today we are going to look at the school system in France and how it differs from the American school system. School usually starts in September and ends in July, giving two months of summer vacation to the students. However, they often get two to three weeks off in December and in April, which is a little more than what most students get here. The school system is similar until students reach 16 years old and they are able to choose whether they want to continue with general studies or go to a specific trade school for jobs such as becoming a cook or a hairdresser. If they choose to continue studying, they have to prepare to pass the baccalaureat, which is a test that allows you to move on to college. A baccalaureat is a diploma awarded by the French Ministry of National Education. It marks the successful completion of secondary studies and opens the door to higher education. This national exam covers all area of study acquired over the course of the final two years of lycée, which is like high school. Once they pass the baccalaureat, they have the choice of going to a university. But when they go to a university in France, they have to pick what field they want to go into. And that is pretty much all they will be studying during their university years. There are no general education classes. They really just focus on the field that they are studying. Public French universities are free, but the campuses are nowhere near as nice as the universities in America, and there are much less choices. The grading system is also a little different because everything is graded out of 20 and getting a 15 is considered excellent and actually pretty rare. French teachers and the school system in general still work a lot on negative feedback, which can be hard on students and at times discouraging. Each system has its advantages and disadvantages, and it's up to you to decide which you like better. Thanks for watching and au revoir!